Hey, hello, I'm Kathy Lee. It's the Hula Girl, Melly Mel, sending you some hoopla from Boston. Go New England Patriots. Hey, Tom Brady, he may have a stitched up thumb, but don't count him out. He's down for the run. If you send the Hula Girl to Super Bowl 52, I promise I'll make a hoopla video, especially for you. That's it for today, folks. Keeping it nice, short, and sweet. Uh, I'm going to keep on hooping because regardless of whether or not I make it to Super Bowl 52, I still need to shed a few. So if you want to find out how this video ends or see any of my other hoopla videos, check out my YouTube channel, Melanie Morris TV. And Holly and Kathy, invite me down, get you girls on the hoop, and teach you how to hoop love. Go New England. All right, I'm gonna continue hooping for a bit. That was my cheer, trying to win Super Bowl tickets to the 52 Super Bowl. New England versus the Eagles. You know, my uncle passed away about uh, four years ago. And he was a huge, he lived in Philly. He was a huge Phillies fan. Boy, if he were alive today, oh my goodness. I think he'd probably be climbing one of those poles in Philly. <laughs> you know, they are greasing the poles in Philly so the fans won't climb them. See, we don't roll like that in Boston. You know, we may do some crazy things, but we don't climb poles like that. Police don't have to grease them. Um, this is my three and a half pound loop. <clears throat> I've got these, see the others in the background there. The larger one is a two and a half pound. Small baby hoop, I call it. That one's too small. Techn technically, when you hoop, the hoop needs to come to your belly button. That's how you know you have the right size. Otherwise, it's twice as hard or three times as hard to keep up. So, uh, that's that baby hoop in the back around. That was my first hoop, and that's how I learned that I had the wrong hoop. So what I'm doing here, normally I have weights in my hand, but you know, since I was making this video for New England, I got some Patriots football. So normally I have weights in my hand, and I'll do you know, some shoulder workouts while I'm hooping. You know, do 20 of these. You know, rest a bit. Back up a little bit. Make sure you can see me. Now I'll do some shoulder presses with the weights. Another way to burn calories. Some, now I'll rest a bit. I'm starting to sweat too. This is uh, really my first workout since probably since the new year. I didn't do, pet, do too bad this holiday season. Actually took the hoops home. Uh, the larger hoop in the background, it actually breaks down so you can travel with it. You can fly with it. I went away last weekend to Philly and I uh, took two hoops to surprise the family. So that hoop you can travel with. After resting, you do some bicep curls. Do like 20 of these rest a little. So I was saying I was starting to sweat. This is my first probably hula hoop workout. Well, probably in about two weeks. Let me say two weeks. I did work out the first week of January as I took the hoops home for the holidays. And I didn't do too bad food-wise either. You know, I didn't uh, pound the sweets like I normally do. I've cut back on a lot of sugar. And actually, uh, since I started hooping in August, I've lost 20 pounds. 22 before the holidays. It's probably about 20 now. <laughs> but anyhow, if you want to strengthen up your core, burn some calories. Also, bending your knees helps to burn calories a little faster. Bend and hoop. Also, which I'm not going to do it today because this is my first day back. You want to do the hoop in the opposite direction. That also helps to straighten both sides. You know, sometimes I switch up a little, do a little spin. Again, 
some shoulder exercises. I have a lot of friends who are buying hoops now. My niece bought one. I got friends in the gym who are buying them. It's really a great workout. I stumbled upon this. Uh, there was a, that's a baby hoop there was uh, being discarded in our building. You know what they say about someone else's trash. <laughs> it's another person's treasure. And I said, wow, I should hula hoop. So I went on my balcony to hula hoop and that hula hoop was, I just couldn't keep it up and I couldn't figure out why I couldn't keep it up because I could always hula hoop as a child. So I went on YouTube, like got from YouTube, watched a video, and bam, this great woman said, the hula hoop needs to come to your belly button. I said, oh, okay. So then I went on Craigslist to offer up. There was a woman nearby in Roxbury that was selling this hula hoop now that I'm using. And I said, can I pick it up today? And she said, yes, you can. And I made my very first hula hoop video, which is on my YouTube channel, uh, the very next day. That goes back to August. So, since then I was hooked. Again, it's a great workout, great exercise. So I just bring mine to the gym with me. Uh, in the nicer weather, I hula hoop on my balcony. But I'm also a long distance cyclist, so I have cold weather gear. Uh, back in maybe October, November, maybe even a day in December, you know, when it's about 30 years or so, I uh, just put my cold weather cycling gear on and hooped on my balcony. This way, you know, I don't have to get dressed to come to the gym. I just get dressed, go on my balcony, hoop for 20, 30 minutes. Some of you may ask, how long do I hoop? Usually between 15 and 30 minutes. You know, sometimes 45. I did one, I did a one hour stint once. So I know I can keep the hoop up without falling for an hour. Not sure that I'd do that again. <laughs> the next day, I was like, ooh, I tried to hoop the next day and I was like, ooh, I probably shouldn't be hooping the next day. I should probably take the day off and relax. So from that I learned to hoop two or three days in a row. And like any other muscle in your body, you gotta give it a break, uh, rest for a day or two then pick it back up. But I highly recommend it. It's something you can do with friends, family. You know, everybody gets a hoop. Summertime, nice weather, you can meet in a park somewhere. Everybody bring their hoop. It can be some girl time. And fellas, don't count out the hoop. Do not count out the hoop. All right, well, it's a little later than I like to be hooping. So I think I'm gonna end this now. So wish me luck on my uh, winning the Super Bowl tickets. I'll let you know in the comment section if the Today Show, Hoda and Kathy Lee, liked my uh, cheer for the New England Patriots. All right, folks, thanks for watching. And uh, look for my subscribe to me and check out my other Hoopla videos. Again, it's Melly Mel sending you some Hope love from Boston. Go New England Patriots. Bye.